In this video, we talked about a way that we could see light from a galaxy that's 100 million light years away in a universe that is just 6,000 years old. And we talked about Einstein's equations and bounded universes and white holes and black holes and gravitational time dilation. It all sounds very complicated, but it is good, sound science. But there's also another answer. In fact, not only is there another answer, we can get the answer to an age-old question that everybody has been wondering about for a long time. And that question is, what came first, the chicken or the egg? The Bible gives us the answer. It tells us that on day five of creation, God created all of the fish and all of the birds. It doesn't say that he created eggs that hatched into birds. He created birds fully grown, ready to lay their own eggs and create, well, in this case, more chickens. So the Bible tells us that the chicken came first. So what does this have to do with the age of the universe and seeing light from galaxies that are 100 million light years away? Well, let's take a look at another thing that God created, and that's trees. If we had a time machine and could go back to day six of creation, we would have seen fully grown trees just like this one here. God didn't take a seed and plant it and then wait 40 or 50 years for a tree to grow. He created a tree full size. And that's because a tree, in order to live, it needs rings because rings are part of the circulatory system. If Adam had cut down this tree, he might have seen, whatever, 50, 60 rings in the tree. The tree would have appeared to be 60 years old when in reality, it was just two days old. And it's the same with Adam. God created Adam fully grown. He didn't create Adam as a baby just lying in the dirt. He created Adam as a full-grown man who could think, he could speak. He named all the animals. If we had a time machine, I mean, if we really had a time machine and we could go back to day six of creation, we would have seen a man who appeared to be 18, 20, 30 years old, whatever age God created him at, and he would have looked that old to us, 20 years old, for example, even though he was less than a day old. So God created Adam with an appearance of age, even though he was a day old. And it's the same with the universe. God created the universe with an appearance of age. When he created the stars and the galaxies, he created the light arriving at the earth at the same time. So that even though the earth is 6,000 years old, when we look at the universe, it appears to be older, just like Adam or trees appeared to be older, when in reality, they are just 6,000 years old. And the only way to get the whole story, to know the rest of the story, is to have read the Bible, gotten the story from an eyewitness, someone who was there, God, who told us what he did when he created the earth, the sun, the moon, the stars, the galaxies, and us all in six days of creation. <laughs>